All right, so I don't tell people what to do, but I like to share what I do. And when I'm designing a house for someone, I don't tell them what to do. I tell them what this for my house. This is how I would do it. So I just want to share a little uh, discovery that I made a long time ago. It just works really well. Um, if I make my first section, my standard section, and I have my levels separated so that they're clear and visible, and I also have the um, colors uh, that I want them to be. I make the floors red, I make the grade green. So if I'm over here working, for example, in this particular spot, then I can see, well, that's red, that must be a floor. That's green, that must be the grade. Anyway, well, we're, and when working with sections, what I do is I do not go to the floor plan and I make a new section. And I also don't copy the uh, sections. I would take the original section that I've made that is in perfect uh, condition here. You know, I have, my levels are clear a lot of times when we put the levels in the text is on top of each other, but I have it nice and sharp. And then I duplicate the view. So if I duplicate the view with or without detailing, I generally just duplicate it. Look what happens. I have a new version of that that has the same uh, separation of the levels and everything is really good. If I go to my uh, first floor plan and I put in a new section, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna put in a section right here and then we'll go to that view. Look at the mess. So that uh, is not the method that I like to use. So all right, let's close that down just for a second and let's delete that. All right, and gone, okay? So the advantage of that is that, uh, that it's all already created. Now, I, I think I copied on top of this guy. I don't remember which, which one. Uh, just quickly, it's section 18. Let's see, section 18 copy, section 18 copy, 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 copy two, copy three. All right, so I don't know, I don't know which section it is. But anyway, so the point is that once I've made my master section, then I duplicate them as many section cuts as I want. And then I can simply take this guy and look at that, I can move him over to there. If I had made a duplicate of it, the original would stay there and there, and Revit just stacks the other sections on top of each other. So that works really well for time saving because otherwise I would have to go to each section and clean it up. Unless, it, you know, unless you're getting paid by the hour, you don't want to, you don't want to do it that way. And so it's a nice feature. I just thought I would share that. Some people um, might be struggling the way I struggled many, many years ago with uh, going in and fixing every section and I'll just simply duplicate the view. You can duplicate it with detailing if you have a lot of information on there, but my, I generally just duplicate the view without the detailing. I just duplicate it. So I hope that was helpful.